All right, hey guys, this is here with Veridesk, and I'm back with an, another video for you today. Um, this video is gonna be a little different. I don't, I don't, I can't put this on my table, but basically, I looked through all my videos on my channel, and I re realized today that I haven't done a full detail review of my cart, and I've had this cart for I want to say about two years now, um, and I've used it every single season, so I don't know why I haven't done a review of it. But ultimately, uh, this is a Rich Roller R3. I've done an unboxing of this video. It's kind of a long video, but basically it's a lot of components because it, when it gets shipped to you, it's like separate parts. So you have to put it together. That's why I did it, do a video of that. But um, there's a lot of information to go through today. So I'm gonna go through all of that today. And uh, we're gonna go through the nuances of this cart for you. Uh, so essentially when you go to Rich Roller's website and you order a cart, um, the R3 custom cart comes with the this um, cushion right here and it comes with a, a black as standard. You can actually do a custom color order and I believe Rich has it on their website in terms of what colors or you can email the owner which is, which is Joe Robinson. He would be able to do a custom seat cover color for you. Um, the cart is pretty much once you put it together, everything from the pole to the cap to the box and to this bottom part are all customizable in terms of colors. The wheels are usually black when you get them. I just happened to, uh, I purchased a white wheel and I really don't know where my black wheels are. Uh, but I purchased the white wheels because I wanted to match the box. But because it's plastic, it's kind of dirty now. Because it's been this thing's been through the mud. To give you an idea, I have had a cart before. I had a Zuka compact cart. And I went from that cart to this cart. Okay, so let's do the overview. Now, with the cart, it's a little different from bags. Because normally my gear videos are all bag related. But essentially, let's start from the top here. We have... The pole here, this handle, so um, this cart, because I ordered it a long time ago, it came with this aluminum handle. I believe the new ones are black now, so keep that in mind. This little piece right here did not, does not come with the cart. This little piece, um, someone on Facebook makes it, so you can actually order this, and you can actually put this on a Zuko cart too. It's just a little piece that you screw in between here, and it has these little um, loops right here, and this just helps it's basically a machine aluminum piece and it just helps you hold your towels on that piece. So that's why you're, what you're hearing right there. This pocket is extra. Um, it does not come with the cart. This right here is the their putter pouch at their website. This is the magnet piece. You can actually put whatever putter pouch you want here. Um, I had a power pocket. Um, I don't know. I think that was from Infinite Discs, I think is where I ordered it was a power pocket and it was too long so it would come down to like here and um, it just caused the cart because it held so many discs that when I put all the disc in it just caused the cart to be top heavy and therefore I was like not a fan of that plus I only wanted something to hold the putters and this pocket right here is made by Rich Roller this pouch and it does come with a rain fly to keep to be your putters um, dry. Um, the rain fly, I use it a couple times. It keeps, it does keep this dry. However, with the cart, it doesn't have a rain fly. There's no rain fly made for it. The idea is that this cover helps keep the water out. So just keep that in mind. Um, the pocket itself has a magnet right here that lifts up and down. It's got Velcro and I just put a patch in here. So you can put whatever patch you want. I use this to hold my mini and whatever extra things in here. I also have a marker in here and it's, and it's a felt material. And then on the other side is a Velcro and I use this for dry bag on this side. And um, everything on this cart you see, it doesn't get removed when I go to a bag. Um, it has its own set of things. It has its own set of minis, uh, dry bags because um, honestly, it's just a lot easier. These are my practice putters. So it always sits in this pocket, but you can see it can fit four in here on this thing. So this was extra. And then the other thing that was extra is this lower pocket right here. 
This is the Cooler Caddy, and this is also made by Rich Roller. It's got two screws right in here, two screws, one on each side, and then it has a handle that you loop through the pole. And the pole does come off, so if I, there is a, there is a little knob here that you unloose that and you can feel it's moving. And then you push this button here and it just comes off. If I remove this pocket, that's how it looks, okay? And then if I remove this, there's another thing right here. You can see the pole comes off. And this pole comes off like this so that you can store it in the trunk of your car. Um, and um, I just would not recommend keep taking it out if you can because it does scratch the paint. And this piece right here is where this knob, this black knob is right here. Um, so, and it doesn't just, as you can see, it can go really, really short or really, really tall. So the top notch, it goes up here. So it, it goes as tall. I mean, it, it stands almost like five foot 10. Um, sorry, four foot 10. Um, so that's this post right here. And this is the little thing I was telling you about that you can order extra. Like, yeah, because it's a cart, there's so many things you can order for it. I believe this cart... I want to say it's over 10 pounds. I think I think I want to say like 15 pounds, 15 to, to 19 pounds or something for this card. So it's a pretty hefty card, but there's a reason for that, and I'll go over that in, in the video later in the video. So I'm gonna put this back in. I'm gonna get it all the way down because I put it in the lowest positions because I'm so short. All right, so then, um, and then this piece right here is a magnetic close, uh, a magnetic button that attaches to this button right here, like that. And this little strap right here is on this cap and that helps hold the strap up. And it's pretty sturdy, like you can't get it. It, it, it takes a lot for it to come down. So just know that. There is an extra carabiner here. This carabiner is actually meant, let me go put this down for one second here. This carabiner right here is meant to hook to one of these zippers right here. Let me show you. So this carabiner is meant to hook to one of these zippers right over here. And what this does is that when you have the cart laying in your trunk, the, I'll just show it to you here. Cause this has happened to me multiple times when I was sitting in the bed of my truck laying down. Sometimes when you're moving, this thing will want to come open and then what'll happen is you'll have all your discs rolling out of the box. So what you want is to get this carabiner and hook it onto the zipper right here. And that way it won't do this and all your discs will fall out of the box. The cap itself um, has um, kind of like a Velcro piece and a felt piece. What this does is that when you close it down, it creates a cushion like that so that you're not, so that this isn't touching metal to metal and causing um, uh, scratching. So this little piece right here just helps keep a little bit of space in between. And then this elasticated material this actually is a piece that you also will purchase as an add-on it velcros on like this so you see there's four velcro pieces here you just put this in here uh, in four corners and then it velcros on and I usually put extra towels in here I just my towels are dirty right now so this is an add-on as well otherwise normally the cap comes with nothing and you can put stickers and whatever you want in here and then here's the box so once you have it open up it comes with this foam material inside box and then I just purchased this piece extra. I'll put the link in the Amazon. It's an Amazon. I bought it on Amazon. It's actually a, a women's purse organizer um, and it comes in different colors. It comes in black, red, blue, green, 
beige, I think, cream color, I think. I just chose the black so that it would blend in with this box. And this box, this right here, it comes with the whole entire R3 when you order it. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. So I like to put this. Um, Ritualer now sells a box similar to this that's a cooler that you can actually put in here. And I believe you can fit like um, 12 cans in, a, in the cooler. Their new cooler that's like this size fits right in here. And it fits a ton of uh, a ton of cans of soda or other stuff. But if you don't use this side, if you don't use this side, then what you can do is use this side for discs. So, for example, you can put your discs like this, like so. All right. And um, I usually like to throw my disc on this bigger pocket like this because I like to have my compartments. I'm a compartmentalization person. Um, so I like to have my compartments like this. So that's why I got this piece and put it on the other side. But yeah, this is very versatile. You can do whatever you want. You can even move this Velcro piece right here. It moves up and down along this to make this bigger or smaller or you can have an even divide of discs on both sides so kind of like whatever you want but i just do it this way because i like to have my wallet my keys in here separate from the discs and i don't want to put it in these pockets i don't want to put my wallet and keys on the pockets on the outside i want it in this box and covered and away from the elements um inside here there is a little pocket right in here for you and then let me show you so I want to finish going over everything and then I'll show you how many discs it could hold so I'll go ahead and put this down and then this is the only part that comes with the, the R3 when you order it is this putter pocket in front it has a place for you to put your mini right here it has a zipper that you can put well it looks like I have some OB rules in here so you can put that in there and sorry if this is really muddy. <laughs> it's it's been, it's been, I've holes it down like three times already, but I do play in the mud a lot, so it's pretty dirty compared to my other stuff. This is also extra. This is um, it goes underneath the cart down here. So this is where I keep my tools. Not my tools, sorry. Um, so this is the rainfly that goes with the putter pocket. Extra hand warmers. Um, I have played with this in the snow before, but I do use it. And then this is um, also extra um, tools and a little handle for the for the pole. So yeah, so this is extra as well. You can buy this from Ritual as well. They make this, and you, it just has so many pockets. Um, so in generally a hold. What I'll do with this pocket is I'll take one of these long sleeve and I'll just stuff it in here like this. Or extra towels, extra socks, whatever you, whatever you want. And I just zip it all together like this. And then I'll stuff it down in this, in this bottom compartment here. Okay. Um, if I'm having a two round one day tournament and the course is really, really treacherous, I will use this cart. So I do carry a lot of layers and a lot of extra towels when it comes to this cart. And here's another big part to this little bag here that you can put more stuff in. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, you can have compartments for days in here. So yeah, it's, it's a very nice little extra add on that if you want to have it. Otherwise, you can leave it empty. I've stuffed my jacket down here. I've stuffed it, my big rain jacket and my big insulated jacket down here. I just took take this out, left it in my car, and just use this to stuff my jacket. So I've done that before. Um, the cart is made of, I believe it's like aerospace grade aluminum is what my understanding is. It's made of very solid aluminum. It's nothing like any cart I've ever encountered or used or personally own. So it is heavy, but the way the cart is made is that it's so wide and so lower uh, center of gravity that it, it just cannot 
tilt like you have to fight this thing for it to tilt um let's see if i can go over the rest of the outside of it most of the stuff is add-ons like, like i told you these two things are from amazon these are let me see if i can get you a close-up of it these are they have a uh, rubber piece here these are flashlight holders that goes on your bicycle i ordered two of these because um the reason for that is i don't have it with me but this is how i carry my retriever so I put my retriever and it goes up along like this and then I just put this around it and that's how I hold my retriever. Um, it's away from everything and it's kind of like you can actually have it attached next to the putter pocket like this and it's not in the way at all. That's why I got those. Um, this lad, last add-on here, this is the cool caddy like I was telling you earlier inside of it has this insulated pouch and this is a really good size insulated pouch it's got the insulated material here and i have used i don't know how many times i've used this in the hot summer days i would put so much ice i put 320 ounce in here it will fit ice in here it has my yogurt my my apples um my fruits like grapes you know, a bag of watermelon. I've, I've put so much stuff in here with ice, it's not even funny. And uh, I've had Gatorade in here. And what's nice is that once the cooler, once I'm done with my round, all the ice is melted, I just dump it out and I just pull this out like this and it just dries off, like air dries on my drive home. And so it's so easy to maintain. And this thing is one of my favorite things about this cart besides the cart itself. <laughs> Um, so yeah, even has a handle so you can carry it around if you wanted to carry it separately. But this goes in here. If you take this out, then what you can do is you can actually just stuff a disc in here. And like, there's like a million discs you can put in here. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but obviously there's three. You can put five putters in here if you really wanted to. And I've seen people do that, use this for discs. I have never used this main pocket for discs. I just, I just love this cooler. So I stuff it with, you know, apples, yogurts, um, drinks, and I was I would sit on this cushion and I would just have my drinks and eat, and everybody's jealous half the time. Um, that same pocket also has a, another s smaller pocket right in front of it for your putters. I usually put my approach putter right here. Is where I normally put it and it can fit too. This also can fit a mini um, as well. This water bottle holder can hold a 32 ounce water bottle on this side. And this side I put um, usually, um, I put extra towels on that side or my range finder right down there. So that's this thing. It's hard to take it off because you need screws to put it on. So that's why I leave it. Um, yeah, I think that's the overall of the cart. As far as using it, when you drag this around, and if the grass is tall and it's dewy in the morning, this thing can drag. Um, you can see kind of like it can drag on the floor a little bit. I don't know if we'll do it now. It probably won't. It's just when you are on tall grass, but if you're just flat ground with no grass, it doesn't drag at all. Like you have to get it really low for it to drag. You can see, but who, who pulls a cart like this? Nobody does. So if you just pull it like this, it's fine. But if there's grass that's tall, it's standing up like this, it will cause this thing to be wet. But honestly, it dries so quick, it doesn't even matter. Got four discs in here, two in here, so that's six. You can put probably six more discs in this part in this compartment if you weren't using a cooler. So that's 12. Moving to the front, this front pocket has four, and these are mid-range by the way. These have been, powders and mid-range is all I've been talking about. So 12 plus four is 16. Moving to the main compartment, uh, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 31. You can probably fit another one here, so that's 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 43 discs that you can fit in there for sure. And we're talking like easy access. We're not talking like hiding it underneath here or anything like that. So that's 40, basically 40 plus discs that you can fit in this cart if you were just going to use it for um, discs. But, you know... Um, 
Obviously, I don't use it for that. I only uh, I use it for the right amount of discs that I need, and along with my other stuff to be comfortable. But the main reason why anybody would buy this thing is really this top part right here, which I'm going to show you in a minute here. Um, and that's really this part to sit to sit on it. So it is such a wide. Like you can see, I can sit on the edge and another person can sit here. That's how wide this seat is. Like, and it's, I like it because it's low to the ground and I'm short. So I have short legs. So when I sit down, I, my B, my knees aren't like completely straight out. I can actually put my butt on it and bend my knees a little bit like I should. Now that might be a problem for some people who are tall, but my understanding is that this car is so like the seat's so wide and the car is so, like has such a wide stance overall, that taller people love it pretty much as much as I do. And then, um, so it's just comfortable overall. The cushion is pretty thick. You can see the indentation I put down on it. And like I said, the, the new custom program with the seat covers, it's really cool. You can kind of get it in a colorway where it matches the rest of your cart, which is a really cool. So like if you get a red cab, you can get this red as well. So, uh, now we move on to the part of the video where I talk about why I purchased this cart. I only have one cart. At one point I had like four of them. Uh, but I only um, have one cart. And the reason why I bought this cart was to have um, a cart for, I only use it for tournament rounds or when I'm traveling. And I wanna be, I'm gonna be out for a while because I know I'm gonna lose disc or I'm gonna not know where I'm going. Um, I used, I bought this cart because I wanted something that was sturdy that didn't tip over and um, I wanted something that I can use especially if it's going to be two day tournament and if there's going to be two rounds in one day. There's tournaments where I had four rounds in two days. So two rounds Saturday, two rounds Sunday and it's brutal with a bag uh, especially at my age. So that's why I got the cart. I also got it because it can carry a lot of stuff and what will happen is it will feel heavy if you try picking up like this is heavy but whatever reason once you put it on its wheels it's super light like pushing around and you can hear that like there's no noise it's very light and um, so it, it carries its weight really well once you have it moving um, and I want, basically I wanted something where I can carry a good amount of discs, like 20, 20, 26 discs, and still be able to have a cooler cup holder. And I love having my putters up here and I love having a seat to sit down, especially when there's a lot of backups. So it depends on the tournament, even tournaments where it's only one round a day. If I know there's a lot of backup and it's gonna take three to four hours to play that round, I will bring my card out. So this thing usually comes with me to tournaments with my one of my smaller bags so yeah so that was one of the main reasons why I bought it was because um, for long rounds I don't use it for casual rounds I try to but I was like no casual rounds I can stop whenever whereas tournament rounds not much so I mainly bought this for the tournament I mainly chose this cart because of the seat and the low center of gravity and because it's just the customization like I'm, I'm a sucker for customizations and the same way with my pound bags as well um, the capacity I already talked about, comfort, it's comfortable to sit on, it's super comfortable. It's way more comfortable to sit on than the Zuka. And the Zuka, you have to buy the extra cushion and even then it was still not comfortable. I think this is more comfortable and this comes with it. Obviously this cart is way more expensive than a Zuka will ever be, even without the add-ons. Um, function, functionality, well it functions great as a cart. Um, it fun <laughs> I There are parts of the terrain, like if you're on a side of like because I think I was in Colorado one time and the cart was a little tricky when there's an incline like like this. So you do have to kind of have the cart sit in a way and you'll figure it out once you use the cart. Like you have to get the cart to sit like sideways, <clears throat> not facing up and down the grade of the, the, um, the terrain, but you have to like turn it sideways so that the wheels are like on a on an incline like this on a grade so that it will catch the wheels and it'll stop and it won't roll. So that's what I've learned about this cart is is like if this was an incline going up towards the wall 
this is how it would situate my cart. If I do it like this, it's going to roll down the hill. But if I do it like this, it kind of just doesn't go anywhere. It just kind of sits here because it'll be like an incline like this. Yeah. So that's to give you an idea. Um, I love using this cart on my rounds, um, on my tournament rounds especially. I love having this cooler right here to put all of my cold stuff in, ice, pop, soda, Gatorade, whatever I want. This is such a cool cooler and you know, I don't even feel like it's out of the way. It's just attached right there. And I'll just sit right here and wrap, wrap, put my head around and just grab a cold drink and have it and just sit and chill. <laughs> um, did it meet my expectations? Um, definitely meet, met my expectations for sure. It did, it did its job at keeping me comfortable and very low fatigue during hard, hot, long rounds. So that's one of my favorite things about it is that it's, um, it's very comfortable to use. It's very comfortable to sit on. The tires haven't worn down yet. They are starting to wear down a little bit, so I might have to get new ones. I love the customization. I love the different colors. Mine's pretty boring, I guess. I don't know. I like this color, this blue color. This is called Ashley River. I just like the white, the bright color. Um, <laughs> my pound bag is also a white camo, so <laughs> it's pretty funny that that's how it turned out. But... Yeah, I love that you can customize the whole entire, like, there's some crazy combination of colors out there for this uh, cart. And not, I don't think there's any cart on the market that allows you to do that at the moment. I think Ritual Roller is the only one. Uh, my overall conclusion is that I love this cart. It's the only cart I have left out of all the carts I've owned in, in air down to this cart. Um, it does a great job of carrying all the discs. It keeps, you, keeps me comfortable, helps me with low fatigue, um, keeps me going. Carries all my discs, carries all my drinks. And um, I think this card is great for anybody who has a bad knee, <laughs> bad legs, um, who has just physical, physical health issues. This card is perfect for it, for those people. You know, they can carry a lot of discs and they can, um, they can totally go through an entire round, if not two in one day and not feel fatigue at all. Or, or anybody who is does a lot of tournaments, I think, would love this this card. If you do a lot of tournaments, like every single weekend, weekend in, weekend out, I think you would love to have this card, especially if you are the type of person who carries 30 plus discs. And carrying it on a bag can be fatigue, uh, especially on your shoulder and your throwing shoulders. But if you do a lot of tournaments and you want to carry 30 more discs, this card is just perfect for it. And I think that's what this card is um, perfect for. I mentioned when using this card is that um, in the nice sunny day, it's fine. But um, on rainy days, what will happen is you'll have the cover for the putter pocket, which is fine. But if you open this up, all the water is going to get in here. And then when you close it to cover it, there's already rain that went into the main compartment. So when I did play with this in a, in a downpour, um, I would recommend getting an umbrella, an umbrella holder, and put it up here and just have the umbrella open up over the cart. Versus what I did, which is to only <laughs> put the rain fly on the putter and not have one here so all my discs got wet. So I wanted to mention that to let you know that well, that's one of the downfalls about this cart. So you would, really would have to get an umbrella and an umbrella holder for this pole, this pole right here, if you're only going to go down to a cart as your full-time um, means of carrying your discs. And if you're not going to have anything else, like no bags or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. The price, it's a lot of money. I think it was like almost $700 for this uh, this thing. So a lot of people will be like, well, this is a glorified disc holder for $700. But when no one else is on the market making this in this quality of material, I can't even describe to you how good this quality feels. Uh, it's super like sturdy aluminum and it's it is, you can tell when you receive it, it's heavy. It's heavier than any cart that you're ever gonna use. Um, so it is expensive, but it's a long-term investment. Um, it's one of the few things that I keep for a long time my, for my personal use. This is the second time I've, I'm making a social vi video about it. 
Uh, I have taken pictures of it and posted on social media, but this is my personal used cart. And um, it's a long-term investment. Like, you know, if you're gonna buy this, I would recommend um, making sure that you're going to keep it around as your second option from your disc golf bag. Um, and I already talked about how it's on the course. I mean, it's beautiful on the course, hilly terrains. Uh, when you do go down the hill, you want to put the cart in front of you because if you put the cart behind you, when you're going down the hill, the cart will push you down. And it's harder to manage it, especially if you're going to use your throwing arm to hold this for it to go down. So I would recommend that when you're going downhill, push the cart in front of you. When you're going uphill, leave the cart behind you and pull it up. Because if you're going uphill and you're pushing it, you're pushing it into the mountain, into the grade, and then it doesn't really move too well. So that's the only thing I think about with the course. Um, it's gone over rocks. It's, it goes over um, logs, no problem. I've ran it through a creek, no problem. Uh, I've also picked it up <laughs> to go down some st um, a flight of steps, actually, a flight of stairs. If you do do that, it is very heavy if you were to pick it up with all your stuff in it, especially with ice, cooler drinks, and this. It gets really heavy if you're gonna pick it up, but it's doable. I pick it up and throw it in my truck. I don't even take these things off, so it's doable. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this card. Um, would I buy this for myself or my family? Yes, I would purchase this for my family if any one of them are crazy enough to start playing disc golf. Um, I definitely would purchase it for myself. I have one for myself and I don't intend on selling this, this card. I sold all the other cards, sold a lot of bags in my life, but I, this card I kept. So it's gonna be in my collection for quite some time. Although, um, last but not least, Rich Wheeler has come out with an R1. The R1 does not have this on the bottom. The, the box is shorter, so it saves, I, I want to say it saves like seven pounds or something crazy. I can't remember. But yeah, so the, the it does not have this compartment down here. And a lot of times you don't even use this compartment down here. So it doesn't even matter really. But, uh, but yeah, so there's, it's called an R1 and they have the same customization as everything else. Um, and it sits a lot lower, a lot lighter. Um, it still has the same compartment in here and same foam that comes with it. So, so yeah, I think you should check it out and see how that works. Um, but anyways, that's my um, full detail breakdown of the card. You can buy so many accessories. You can buy an umbrella holder, a cell phone holder. Um, there's a ton of information online if you join the group. I don't have all this stuff to show you. Um, I just want to mostly talk about the card and everything else is just your personal taste on things. But my two favorite things is the putter and the cooler. Um, the rest of it, it's just kind of like fluff and I don't really need it. Um, I do like my retriever holder. So many times I've used it to get dressed out of the water. So this cart carries whatever you want basically and all your discs and has a really comfortable seat for you to sit on. So overall it's a great cart. It's expensive but it's worth the one-time investment and then you won't like I feel like if you buy this cart you won't go back to Azuka. I just that's I, mean, I had a Zuka and the Zuka kept tipping over and it was driving me nuts. This has yet to tip over. Like I have to like it has to be rolling down the hill for even for it to even come close to tipping over. All right, anyways, that's my overall um, full t detail review of the cart. If you have any questions or comment, leave it in the um, comment section below. I will link how to get to the cart um, and then um, along with the with accessories are. But it's all on the same website, obviously. You can play around with it there. Um, all right, this is Human Freitas. I'll see you in the next video.